Breaking news now. Hurricane Barrel is approaching Jamaica. The latest. Hurricane Barrel has killed at least seven people and devastated many houses and buildings throughout the Caribbean, and its trip is far from complete. The National Hurricane Center predicts a Category 3 or higher significant hurricane hitting Jamaica's shoreline later Wednesday. Only three hurricanes have hit the island in 40 years. The newest updates are Where Barrel had been, Barrel caused the heaviest damage to Granada's Cariacu and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The hurricane destroyed large parts of numerous islands, according to satellite photos. Seven persons died in the two countries in Venezuela. Petite Martinique and Barbados also suffered damage. Future Direction Jamaica's Prime Minister advised inhabitants to take Barrel seriously and prepare for Wednesday afternoon's landfall. Storm surge on the island might reach 9 feet above average tide. The Cayman Islands may experience tropical storms by Wednesday afternoon. Barrel's path becomes less certain Thursday night and beyond. Thursday night or Friday morning is its projected landfall around Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula or northern Belize. Emergency personnel in Texas are monitoring the southern coast's impact. National curfew in Jamaica, Barrel's arrival has Jamaicans scrambling to store food and gas and safeguard their houses. The Prime Minister ordered a statewide curfew Wednesday from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. to safeguard the safety of everyone during the passage of the storm and avoid looting. Climate action calls Jamaican officials have cited Hurricane Barrel as the latest illustration of how developing countries suffer the weight of the climate catastrophe, which drives extreme natural disasters. Government Senator Delroy Williams urged the international community to finance coastal cities' climate change resilience, after Hurricane Barrel devastated Union Island and St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the non-profit World Central Kitchen is bringing food and water. Melissa Gluck, WCK's ex-account manager, said, We are mobilizing around the Caribbean to access the hardest impacted islands to deliver some relief to the people here that has survived a Category 4 storm. She stated the helicopter team delivered fruit, drinks, and sandwiches. There's tons of wreckage, there's no light, power, water, Gluck remarked, pointing to downed trees and residences. The Information Center on Union Island, which has 3,000 residents, says it is three miles long and one mile wide. Barrel destroyed 90% of Union Island's homes, said to Prime Minister Ralph Gonzalez on Monday. In another post, World Central Kitchen founder Jose Andres claimed the charity is helping multiple barrel affected islands. The National Hurricane Center predicts Hurricane Barrel will pass close or over Jamaica by Wednesday afternoon, bringing strong gusts and a massive storm surge. In an alert, the agency reported 145 miles per hour winds from Category 4 Barrel early Monday. Its center is 250 miles southeast of Kingston, Jamaica traveling 22 miles per hour. Jamaica will see tropical storms on Wednesday morning and hurricanes after midday. In the recent 40 years, only Hurricane Sandy, 2012, and Hurricane Gilbert, 1988, have hit Jamaica. Barrel may beat Gilbert's 130 miles per hour winds as the strongest storm to batter the island. Storm surge of 6 to 9 feet above average tides could flood the shore, and 4 to 8 inches of rain might fall, with isolated totals up to 12 inches. Hurricane Barrel slammed Granada while travel agent Elaine Pesto was there. Pesto, 56, and seven other travel agents arrived in Granada Saturday afternoon. We checked in and that's when they warned us that we might need to leave, Pesto told CNN. She said the group tried to escape Saturday night, but airfares back to the U.S. were pricey, so they rode out the storm. Pesto became anxious by Sunday night. She said waiting out the storm was particularly painful because of the uncertainty. Whether you're a seasoned traveler or not, you'll get concerned when you're getting those mandates, she added. It feels like it's closing in. A bit nerve-wracking. Sunday night was hard to sleep because Pesto kept checking storm updates. Monday morning brought rain and strong winds from the storm. My sliding glass door vibrated trying to work throughout the storm. I tried to ignore it because you'd sit there and go, oh my gosh. I'm in a hurricane, and worry yourself to death. She stated the storm surge was less severe on the southern half of the island where she was vacationing. 
Finally, she returned to the U.S. on Tuesday.